If every intellect on Earth, every brilliant mind and collective wisdom were to unite in an attempt to forge a universe from the void, we would still stand no chance of success. If the creation of a universe is beyond our reach even with intent and effort, how could such an intricately designed and perfectly balanced cosmos have arisen merely by chance? Forget about the universe. If all of humanity came together, we wouldn't be able to create even a single fly. Despite our advancements and collective wisdom, the complexity of life in its simplest form remains beyond our creative reach. It might seem like a naive perspective, but just for a moment, consider the perfection that surrounds us. It's hard to find a single flaw in the intricate design of the cosmos. For example, take the process of photosynthesis. This remarkable mechanism by which plants convert sunlight into energy is flawless. You wouldn't suggest that photosynthesis could be improved by happening in a different manner. It's perfectly suited to sustain life on Earth. You would never earnestly wish your nose were not on your face, but on your hand, would you? This might sound amusing at first, but it underscores a profound truth. The placement and function of our nose are perfect exactly where they are. It's ideally positioned to not only enhance our sense of smell, but also to work in concert with our respiratory system, filtering and warming the air we breathe, all while being centrally located to balance out our sense of taste with smell. Such details, which we often take for granted, highlight the incredible thoughtfulness in design, if you will, of the human body. It's not just about the functional perfection of where things are placed, but also about the aesthetic harmony of the human form. Our features, eyes, nose, mouth, hands, feet, are not only perfectly created for their respective functions, but also contribute to a sense of beauty and proportion. The human body is a masterpiece of design where every part complements the others, creating a whole that is not only efficient, but also aesthetically pleasing. Consider the symmetry of the human face, a factor often associated with attractiveness. This symmetry is not a mere coincidence, but a reflection of the intricate balance and order that pervades the natural world. Our eyes, set just so, allow for a wide field of vision and depth perception, critical for interaction with our environment and each other. Our hands, with their dexterity and strength, enable us to create, build and express ourselves in ways no other species can. Our feet, supporting the weight of our bodies, allow us to traverse diverse terrains, adapting and thriving in almost any environment on Earth. You might say all of this talk is pointless. Who actually consider these things? But it's in the contemplation of these small things that we can begin to unravel larger truths, perhaps even the ultimate question of whether there is a God. Seriously, take a moment to consider your own existence. You, an incredibly perfect human being, unlike anything else we know of in this vast universe, we stand alone as the only creatures endowed with intelligence, beauty, and the profound gift of free will on Earth. Despite our extensive exploration of the cosmos, we have yet to find another form of life that mirrors our own complexity and capacity for reflection. Do you really believe, then, that our presence on this planet, our consciousness, and our unique abilities are mere accidents of nature? That in the grand scheme of the universe, with its unfathomable expanse and the intricate dance of celestial bodies, we were placed here without purpose, to simply ignore the marvels that surround us, the evidence of our own exceptional nature, is to turn a blind eye to the possibility of a greater design and a designer. It's not about accepting everything I say without question. Rather, it's about allowing yourself to wonder, to question, and to see beyond the surface of our daily lives. To recognize that in the perfection of the human form, the harmony of the natural world and the mysteries of the universe there might just be hints of a greater purpose. Could it be that all of this wasn't an accident but a deliberate act of creation? Explosions, they're synonymous with destruction, chaos and disorder. But what if I told you that the most colossal explosion known to us, the Big Bang, did the exact opposite? Instead of wreaking havoc, this massive explosion set forth an extraordinary series of events, creating not chaos, but a universe teeming with order and beauty. For centuries, humanity gazed at the stars, crafting narratives about the cosmos. In the 17th and 18th centuries, 
A prevailing belief was that the universe was a static, unchanging expanse, a fixed backdrop to our earthly lives. This steady-state theory, embraced by many luminaries of the era, painted a picture of an eternal universe. To them, the cosmos had always been as it is, unchanged since the dawn of time, an idea that resonated with the concept of a timeless, unchanging creator. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble made several stunning discoveries about distant galaxies, and one of those discoveries was that the universe was expanding. With astonishing rapidity, galaxies were eroding from one another. This was a universe not static, but ever-changing and progressing. The key to this cosmic revelation is redshift. Light from distant galaxies shifts towards the red end of the spectrum as they move away. Hinting at a universe continuously being shaped and stretched, this redshift, a kind of cosmic Doppler effect, is a whisper from the universe, telling us that it is not a stagnant creation but one that is alive, expanding and evolving. This shift from the steady state to an expanding universe transformed our understanding of the cosmos. Edwin Hubble's groundbreaking work was just the beginning. His discovery that galaxies are moving apart led to a profound realization. If the universe is expanding, then it must have had a beginning. This beginning, often envisioned as the Big Bang, can be seen as a moment of creation, an inception point where time, space and matter were all born from nothingness. Does this not point towards a creator, an initial mover? Consider the precision required for such an event. The Big Bang was not a chaotic explosion, but a finely tuned burst of creation, setting the stage for everything that followed. This precision suggests a deliberate design, the cosmic microwave background radiation, a faint afterglow of the Big Bang, further tells us of a universe that began in a state of high order. This order, emerging from a point of singularity, raises questions about the nature of the divine. As galaxies formed from these cosmic seeds, we see a pattern of order and structure emerging from what was once a singular point. Is this not akin to the concept of a universe crafted by an intelligent designer? Observing supernovae in distant galaxies further illustrates the vastness and complexity of this universe, reinforcing the idea of a meticulously crafted cosmic environment. Each celestial body, each galactic event, speaks of a universe that is not random, but purposeful. In its expansiveness, in its complexity, do we not see the hallmarks of a divine hand? As I mentioned before, we typically associate explosions with destruction, chaos and disorder, often leaving nothing but devastation in their wake. However, the Big Bang stands as a remarkable exception to this rule. Contrary to causing disorder, it gave birth to order. Instead of wreaking destruction, it forged complexity in the cosmos. Far from creating chaos, it meticulously orchestrated the perfection we observe. This phenomenon intricately designed everything from human DNA and animals to the very essence of nature that surrounds us. The Big Bang, thus, is not just a story of an explosion, but a narrative of creation and intricate design. And it is this incredible orchestration of the universe, this profound genesis of life and complexity, that leads many people on Earth to attribute such marvels to a higher power, a being they call God. Having witnessed the grandeur of the cosmos and the delicate intricacies of Earth, our exploration now leads us to one of the universe's most profound mysteries, the nature of time. Time, an omnipresent force that is intimately familiar, yet profoundly elusive. It's a concept that has captivated human thought, a continuous thread that weaves through the very fabric of existence. Time dictates the rhythm of the cosmos, from the orbit of planets to the flutter of a butterfly's wings. It's a dimension that governs change and progress, yet its fundamental nature remains shrouded in enigma. The genesis of time, as indicated by the cosmic dawn theory, signifies not only the emergence of the universe, but also the origin of time itself. This fusion of time and space at a unique point poses a profound challenge to our comprehension of the eternal. Albert Einstein's revelations unveiled time as a malleable fabric intertwined with space. Time dilates, stretches and contracts, defying the notion of a fixed, unchanging dimension. Such dynamism in the very essence of time stirs profound questions about its origin. In various spiritual and philosophical traditions, time is often portrayed as a divine construct, an orchestrated element within a larger cosmic design. This view elevates time from a physical phenomenon to a deliberate creation of a higher power. 
the paradox of time, having a beginning yet flowing endlessly, nudges us toward the contemplation of something or someone beyond time, an eternal entity perhaps, for whom time is a canvas of creation. This intricate tapestry of time, woven into the universe, leads us to speculate about its crafter. The complexity and precision within the temporal dimension seem to transcend mere chance or random emergence. Contemplating the vastness of the universe and the intricacies of time, one might wonder if this is all the work of a cosmic architect. This amazing complexity of time, challenging to fully comprehend, could very well be evidence of a creator. Now bear with me because we are about to delve into something truly astonishing. The insane fine tunings of our universe. This exploration will not only blow your mind, but may also provide compelling evidence for the existence of a god. The universe is a tapestry of intricate complexity and beauty, displaying a level of fine tuning that transcends mere chance. Every element, from atomic forces to the grand ballet of galaxies, appears meticulously calibrated hinting at a universe crafted with purposeful intent rather than random occurrence. At the core of this fine-tuning are the four fundamental forces of nature – gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. Each is so precisely balanced that any minor alteration would make our universe unrecognizable or even non-existent. The precision extends to physical constants, such as the speed of light and the electron's charge. These constants are fine-tuned to a degree that allows the cosmos to harbour stars, planets and life. Even the slightest deviation could lead to a barren universe. Molecular bonding, governed by specific laws, is vital for life. The exactness of these rules is such that any slight variations would hinder the formation of essential biomolecules, fundamental to biological existence. Stars, the universe's cosmic forges, epitomise this fine-tuning. The nuclear reactions within stars balance delicately, enabling the synthesis of elements necessary for life. The lifespan of stars, including our Sun, is also finely tuned. Their longevity and stability are essential for the emergence and sustenance of complex life forms. The universe demonstrates a precise balance in the number of electrons and protons. Any significant imbalance would lead to a universe overrun by electromagnetic forces hostile to the development of complex structures. Oxygen's role in rendering water a universal solvent is pivotal for life. The unique balance within water's molecular structure is essential for various biological processes, illustrating a universe seemingly tailored for biological complexity. Earth itself reflects this fine-tuning. Its distance from the sun, atmospheric composition, and the presence of water collectively forge ideal life-sustaining conditions. Earth's mass strikes a delicate balance, retaining vital gases for life while shielding us from harmful cosmic radiation. The universe's overall density is finely tuned, set at a critical value that prevents collapse or unchecked expansion, fostering a stable environment conducive to life. The cosmic microwave background radiation, a relic of the universe's birth, is uniformly distributed, with just enough variance to enable galaxy formation and other cosmic structures necessary for a life-bearing universe. Earth's magnetic field, calibrated to protect against harmful solar radiation, is crucial for the evolution of complex life forms. Similarly, Earth's nearly circular orbit ensures stable, life-supportive temperatures, avoiding the extremes that a more eccentric orbit would cause. Our strategic position in the Milky Way's galactic habitable zone shields us from galactic hazards while providing access to essential life-building elements acting as a cosmic sanctuary. The rate of supernovas is balanced, essential for disseminating life's building blocks while preventing destructive radiation exposure, allowing life to thrive. Stellar formation and stability showcase cosmic engineering at its finest. The equilibrium between a star's gravitational pull and nuclear reactions fosters environments where planets can prosper over billions of years. A prerequisite for life, Earth's axial tilt contributes to our planet's stable climate, vital for life. An axial tilt significantly different could result in devastating climatic extremes. Jupiter acts as a cosmic shield, its gravitational field deflecting or absorbing potential asteroid and comet threats, thus protecting the inner planets from frequent catastrophic impacts. 
the Earth's atmosphere is transparent to essential light for life, yet opaque to much harmful radiation. A perfect example of fine-tuning critical for life-supporting processes like photosynthesis, our oceans, rich in life, play a crucial role in Earth's carbon cycle and climate regulation. The balance within marine ecosystems is vital for sustaining life and maintaining planetary habitability. The Moon's relative size to Earth influences tidal forces, essential for the movement of ocean waters, which may have been crucial in the early mixing of life-forming chemicals. The magnetic fields of stars, including our Sun, are precisely strong enough to shield planets from intense cosmic radiation, preserving planetary atmospheres and supporting surface life. In the vast expanses of space, beyond what our eyes can see, lurk dark matter and dark energy, unseen forces that challenge our understanding of the universe. These eerie, shadowy elements, making up most of our cosmos, could hold clues to its ultimate architect. Dark matter, though invisible, reveals its presence through its gravitational pull. It acts as the cosmic glue, holding galaxies together in a delicate balance. This unseen force, orchestrating the structure of the cosmos, might reveal a universe composed with exacting detail. On the other hand, dark energy remains an enigma, driving the accelerating expansion of the universe. This mysterious energy, defying gravity, suggests a universe that is not just expanding, but doing so at an ever-increasing pace. The precise balance between dark matter and dark energy is a cosmic conundrum. Their interplay, a fine-tuned dance that allows galaxies to form and life to exist, raises profound questions about the nature of the universe's inception. Scientists strive to unravel these mysteries, yet the more we learn, the more the universe reveals its complexity. This intricate design, seen in the behavior of dark matter and the influence of dark energy, might suggest the workings of an intelligent designer. As we gaze into the night sky, we are not just observing stars and galaxies, but also feeling the presence of dark matter and dark energy. These unseen forces shaping our universe might hint at the existence of a higher power, an omnipotent force that transcends our physical reality. Iron's journey to Earth is a saga born in the heart of distant stars. Only in the inferno of supernova explosions, stellar cataclysms marking the end of a star's life cycle, can the conditions be right for the creation of iron. These cosmic furnaces forge iron and other heavy elements, scattering them across the cosmos when they explode. Remarkably, it was one such explosion that seeded our solar system with the materials necessary for planets to form, including the iron that courses through the Earth's core and veins. This iron has been indispensable to human progress, from the forging of the first tools to the construction of modern cities. Its presence on Earth, delivered from the cosmos at just the right moment in our planet's history, is nothing short of miraculous. The timing and mechanism of iron's arrival on Earth speak to a universe finely tuned for complexity and life. To some, this precision suggests that the universe's unfolding might be the work of a force or entity beyond time and space, orchestrating events so that humanity could one day harness these celestial gifts. The idea that iron, formed in the crucible of stars, would become a cornerstone of human civilization millennia later, invites contemplation of a universe where such crucial elements arrive, not by mere chance, but as part of a deliberate design. The complexity and diversity of life, exemplified by the intricately designed DNA molecule, operate within narrowly defined conditions, further suggesting a universe fine-tuned for life. This leads us to the anthropic principle, positing that the universe appears fine-tuned for conscious life because otherwise we wouldn't be here to observe it. This principle suggests a cosmos tailor-made for our existence. The extraordinary precision in the universe's design raises profound questions. As we ponder the universe, from the smallest particle to the vast galactic clusters, the observed precision and harmony are staggering. This perfect orchestration might be interpreted as evidence of a divine hand at work, shaping the universe with purpose and foresight. Why does anything at all exist? This question, first posed by philosopher Gottfried Leibniz, seeks the root of existence itself. Why is there something rather than nothing? Leibniz proposed that the answer lies beyond the material world, in the realm of the divine. But let's dive deeper. Is it plausible to believe that everything we see, every particle, every planet, has a reason for its existence? 
And if we trace the lineage of these causes, does it ultimately lead us to a god? Consider the universe. Its vastness and complexity astound us, yet its existence is a fact we cannot deny. If we accept the premise that every existing thing has a reason for its existence, then the universe itself must have an explanation. Imagine stumbling upon an intricate, glowing artifact while walking along a beach. Its presence is mysterious, compelling you to question its origin. It would seem absurd if someone suggested that it exists without reason or cause, simply stating, it just is. If this is true for a single artifact, how much more for the universe? Size or scale does not diminish the need for an explanation. This is where Leibniz draws a crucial distinction between things that exist necessarily and those that exist contingently. Necessary entities exist by their very nature. They cannot not exist, like numbers or mathematical truths. Contingent entities, on the other hand, owe their existence to something else. Just as you exist because of your parents, the universe exists, but not out of necessity. It exists contingently. So if the universe exists but could conceivably not have, what or who is its foundation? According to Leibniz, only a non-contingent, necessary being can account for the existence of a contingent universe. This being, existing by the necessity of its own nature, is what many call God. But why name this cause God? The universe encompasses all of space and time, all matter and energy. Its cause, therefore, must transcend these, being immaterial beyond space and time. This necessary being, responsible for the existence of the universe, is posited to be an uncaused, immaterial, eternal entity with immense power. It's almost impossible to deny the presence of a divine hand. Look around at the perfection that envelops us, from the vastness of the cosmos to the intricacies of life on Earth. Just think about it. You, an amazing creature among millions of species, stand as the pinnacle of creation on this planet. No other species can come close to matching our complexity, our creativity, our spirit. And yet, in the infinite expanse of the universe, we have yet to find another that mirrors us. Just think about it. Why do we even face death? Maybe we are on Earth for a very big purpose, and in our passing, we find ourselves in the presence of our Creator.